Hi, welcome to the Institute of Internal Auditors. We are here today with the Phoenix chapter to talk about how we got into internal audit. Hi, my name is Albert Blanco. I currently work at Fertivity, which is a professional service uh, consulting firm who specializes in internal audit. I've been in the internal audit industry for about four years now. I came straight from college uh, working in internal audit in a particular company and then transitioned to consulting. I initially got into uh, internal audit from my friend who graduated a year before me and did uh, consulting in, in internal audit and they just told me that they were traveling all the time, got to learn everything about all their clients and the businesses. And I thought it was very interesting. And ever since I heard all their stories about it, I was pursuing a career in internal audit. Um, Athena, how about you? Hi, my name is Athena Delbal Garcia. I work at Grand Canyon Education. I've been in the audit industry, internal audit industry for about 10 years, maybe a little bit longer. I actually started um, an internal audit. I moved from my accounting position at Arizona Public Service into the auditing role uh, when they had it. And I started to like internal audit when my accounting teacher brought in a certified internal auditor to speak to us. So Kristen, how about you? Hi, I'm Kristen Smith. I currently work at Norton LifeLock. Um, I've been auditing for about 18 years, um, and 16 of those, I guess you could say, were technically internal audit. Um, <clears throat> I went straight out of college at ASU to um, KPMG and did audit in their assurance practice for a few years, and then made a transition to one of my clients that I was working on that had a position in their internal audit team. And I just thought it was a great opportunity to stay with one company and really get into the meat of what goes on in one place instead of spreading myself out over industries and different companies. Um, so I've been doing that ever since. It's given me a chance to travel and meet lots of uh, interesting people in the business and in my profession. What about you, Ruben? Hey, I've been in this uh, profession for about 30 years and uh, it seems like yesterday that I became an internal auditor, but I really got into it because uh, I enjoyed uh, looking at systems and evaluating the effectiveness of systems in helping the users to do their job. Uh, my background was uh, that I was uh, educated in accounting and systems. So uh, I worked in an accounting department before I uh, had my current job, which is at SRP. So anyway, I took a position, got into what was called IT auditing, which is uh, you can do externally or internally, and was in an internal audit department. And I thought I'd stay there a couple of years and get some experience and then move on to something else. And it just never uh, ended. It just kept on going and going and going and eventually became what I call the best kept secret. Uh, and I decided that given how satisfying it was, I would just stay in the profession. So that's kind of got into it by accident, stayed into it by, uh, you know, deliberately. So, and I guess, George, we get to hear from you. Yeah, thank you, Ruben, and enjoyed hearing about that. And actually, my path is somewhat similar it was kind of an accident that I got into internal audit. So my name is George Harris. I work for Charles Schwab uh, in Phoenix and kind of how I got into audit. So I've been doing this for about seven years now, been at three different companies as an internal auditor across the last seven years. I started my career in 2010 at a finance company uh, in Mississippi. You probably noticed the, the uh, accent in my voice. I haven't lived in Mississippi for about a decade, but people still tell me, I've got that thick Southern accent. I thought you should have heard me uh, 10 years ago. It was even thicker. But um, the way I got in is I, I really enjoyed that finance position, running a branch with lending and collections. I made a career switch after that into mortgages only. And then mortgage loan origination just did not work out for me. So that first company that had hired me uh, gave me a call one day and said, we're expanding our audit department from two people to three people. How would you like to come uh, audit the states of Mississippi, Missouri, and Illinois for us, all the branches that we have within those states. And you know, mortgages were not going great for me at the time. Beating the pavement was not working. And 
I thought to myself, I've kind of missed this company. I liked doing that job. Why not go back and give this audit thing a shot? When I was a student at Mississippi State University from 2004 to 2009, we didn't even talk about internal audit. Uh, you know, it's got a really good school of accountancy, good business school, a uh, lot of focus on external audit and consulting, but no focus at all on internal audit during that time period. So I really did not know much about being an internal auditor. I was very blessed early in my career to have two mentors at that first company that I audited um, to really show me the ropes of internal audit and what we try to accomplish as professionals out there in the workplace. I ended up doing that for two years. I've also got uh, gaming audit experience up in Las Vegas for about three years, and I've been at Schwab for about a year and a half now, executing a variety of audits, whether it be IT, operational, regulatory, uh, it's just some mixture in between. One thing that I really love about internal audit is you really don't do the same thing day to day. Our jobs really aren't defined that way, at least not at the firms that I've worked at. You have different audits with different objectives. You have to learn different business processes. You might have to know certain IT knowledge with one audit along with financial control knowledge and just mixtures in between. So it's a really fluid environment, very flexible and I've really enjoyed my audit career so far. I really enjoyed hearing about uh, the rest of the panel's paths as well. Morgan, I'm, I'm really curious how you got into internal audit overall. Thanks, George. It's interesting to hear everyone's stories. Um, mine's also kind of a fluke. Um, when I was applying for internships back when I was in college, I had an opportunity to, an opportunity to apply for an internship with KPMG. And they gave me this form and the form said, what practice are you interested in, tax, audit, or advisory? And I was like, oh, well, I don't really want to do tax. I don't really want to do audit. So let's do advisory. I don't really know what that means. So let's try it out. Um, and that's how I ended up in internal audit because at KPMG, their advisory practice is made up of everything that's not external audit or tax. So that could be fraud, that could be um, process improvement, that could be supply chain, that could be a variety of different things. And so the practice that I got into through that was the internal audit program. And that was mostly focused on financials. So I did the first three years of my career um, doing internal audit on the financial side. And then I moved over to the IT side. And so now I've been doing internal audit for IT. And that's been really interesting to me because I've been able to learn the way systems work and the way that they influence the financials. And so now I'm taking my accounting degree and balancing it out with IT, all the while being able to help the business to prevent the things that are so interesting, like fraud, and be able to think in a way that's like, okay, how do I prevent this? How do I think like a fraudster and be able to like control those things? And so for me, that's why I love internal audit. And how I got internal audit was a complete fluke. I just didn't know what the other ones were. <laughs> So, Lena, what's your favorite thing about internal audit? My favorite thing about internal audit is being able to do new things every day. Um, I do a lot of the same audits over and over again, but it's never been the same. Uh, I handle a lot of the compliance audits in higher education at the institution I work for. So it's always the same type of audit with the same objectives, but uh, the data is never the same, which is interesting because it keeps me on my toes. And that's one of the reasons why I got into internal audit was because my mind would always be challenged and uh, doing mundane stuff, everything day to day. Uh, no offense to accountants. I love, I loved when I did accounting, but the month end journal entries, <laughs> I, I was tired of that process. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of moved over. But yeah, that was, that was why I really like it. So how many of you guys would pick internal audit again? Oh, over and over. I would. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys for sharing your experiences and how you got into internal audit. We appreciate your time and for teaching us new things. Thanks, Morgan. Thank you. Thanks.